autism as being more frequently diagnosed in our society and epilepsy can be seen in about 25 to 30 percent of children with autism. So it's an important thing to diagnose. There are some cases that we feel that the epilepsy could be affecting the autism in the child's development. There are certain children that have abnormalities on their EEG that have not necessarily presented with seizures, but those abnormalities can be affecting speech and behavior. Also, a lot of the children who have autism don't present with seizures until they're hitting adolescence, and then when they're 13 or 14, they have their first seizure. So when we hear a story of a child who used to speak, suddenly loses language, we always get ourselves concerned about epilepsy. There's a syndrome called Landau-Kleffner syndrome, where these epileptic discharges prevent language from developing in the child. And that's because the epileptic discharges are over the language area of the brain. So that's a child that warrants more invasive monitoring and a video EEG to see if there's spiking in sleep that can be affecting language. So the best way to make the detection of whether there's seizures going on is in a child who is autistic doing a 24-hour video EEG, looking at their brain waves at night, and then making the diagnosis. Um, hopefully, once you, the doctors and neurologists figure out whether this is epilepsy or not, can determine whether treatment is indicated in these children. So kids with autism, take a further look, see if there could be epilepsy going on.